I'm really grateful for women like Iris Ashley Cummins who really paved the way for students like me to pursue a career in engineering. Um, it's really actually empowering to know that I can, with this career, it can make a practical difference in the world and help solve some of society's greatest challenges, really. Through highlighting our female STEM pioneers, this helps to both empower students and advance participation. And inspirational role models such as Iris Ashley Cummins, these are so important because they help to broaden students' perspectives of what is possible and it encourages them to reach their full potential. This year marks a really significant milestone here at University College Cork as we name for the first time on our campus a building after a female colleague. The Civil Engineering Building will be named in honour of Iris Ashley Cummins, UCC's first female civil engineering graduate. This is the first of very many campus buildings that will be named after inspirational female trailblazers. So diversity in the workplace contributes to creativity, to productivity and to innovation. So it's essential that women are well represented in areas like engineering, so we don't miss out on the novel solutions that this diverse participation can bring. She was born in 1894 in Lanmire, County Cork, to a family of medical doctors. During World War I, she worked for the Royal Navy in Scotland, the Royal Arsenal in London, and the Admiralty Department in Hall Bullen in Cork. In 1927, she was appointed the first female land surveyor at the Irish Land Commission. And in 1928, she made history becoming the first female associate member of the Institution of Civil Engineers of Ireland. Iris was also a talented hockey player with the Cork Ladies and with the Irish hockey team. We are honoured that University College Cork has decided to name this building after our relative Iris Ashley Cummins. Iris and her family had strong links to the university and that makes us very proud to see her memory being kept alive in this way. It's been a huge privilege to come over with David, my cousin, and see all the efforts you've made into refurbishing this lovely building and naming it after our great aunt. Um, I'm very glad that her name lives on and that people, I hope, will be inspired by her, her path through life to follow in her footsteps.